Welcome back. This is lesson 15 for the technique known as hand slice. And we call it that because if your lightsaber had a plasma blade, it would sever clean off the hand of your opponent. Now you'll actually be targeting the outside wrist, the right, the right wrist of your opponent with a technique that's very close to the night strike. You'll step forward, bring your saber up, not as high as before. You don't need to bring it all the way up here. You're going to be bringing it um, a shorter distance and you'll also be stepping a shorter distance because your opponent's wrist is a lot closer to you than their head or their shoulder. So in a modified version of what you learned in lesson 11 you'll bring your saber up, step forward and then bring it down on the right wrist of your opponent. slice you're going to do a lot of steps just like you did with the uh, night strike but all the steps are going to be a bit shorter and a little bit different I'll, I'll show you what I mean you're going to take a step forward actually slightly off to the side slightly off to your left in order to better target your opponents outside right side and then lift your saber so that the middle of your hilt is just at eye level you're going to twist when your left foot catches up. So rather than your left foot just catching up as normal, you're going to twist so that you're now facing square on the right forearm of your opponent. As you do that, your saber's gonna come straight down so that the last third of it chops them right there. All right, let's see what it looks like. right arm of your opponent, you're not going to pick your saber back up. No, you're instead going to pull back straight as if you're slicing that hand. Remember to breathe out the moment your strike is made and breathe in when you're raising, raising your hilt. Since you'll be traveling a shorter distance than you would when performing the night strike, you'll be able to execute this technique with greater speed. The moment your blade meets the arm of your opponent, squeeze your hilt tightly in order to make the strike with better precision. Step one, step forward. Step two, raise your saber up as you twist. Step three, slice down. And then we're gonna step back as we pull the saber back. All right, get ready. One, two, Not only two steps, we're going to step and raise our saber in the same movement. Uh, remember to keep your arms against your body and your back straight, of course, while we twist. 
So again, for step one, we're going to step and raise. Two, we're going to strike and then slide back in a straight line. Remember, you don't want to bounce off your opponent. You're going to hit the arm and slide straight back. All right, you ready? One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. All right, now all in one step. We're going to step, twist, strike, and pull back. All right, get ready. One. Two. Three. Four. Six. Seven. Eight. 